Hi there, Angie Cadron from Normal West High School. I am here today to ask you this question. What's your leadership for? And it can't depend on the day, right? It has to be more foundational than that. And there's three things we're gonna talk about today that are gonna help us with this. It's about knowing ourselves, it's about knowing others, and knowing our organization. And so to know yourself, what are you about? What are your values? Would other people say the same for what you're about and what you value? So raise your hand if you have a personal mission statement. Yeah, okay, keep your hand up if you could repeat it out loud. Keep your hand up if you live it out. So nine years ago I was at a conference like this and someone talked about their personal mission statement and I said, I want one, here's mine. Leave things better than I found them, be the difference that people need when they need it, and never stop teaching and coaching. Right, people ask, do you miss teaching? No, I teach someone something every day, it's just not chemistry. Do you miss coaching? No, I coach someone on something every day, it's just not basketball. These are just some reminders that hang in my office that keep my personal mission at the forefront of what my leadership is for. Also, our leadership is about knowing others, right? Being a part of a team and having different roles on those teams. And so at Normal West High School, we use the five dysfunctions of a team book in the team triangle model. And so I want to point out where accountability is in this model. Because what do people want from their leaders? They want you to hold other people accountable. But what does it take to do that? Look where trust is as the base level of this triangle. Have you ever asked your staff, what does trust look like and sound like to you? We did, this is what we got. I especially like the competency and the character, and those have become foundational in how we describe trust at Normal West High School. I'd also like you to think about and list all the teams you're a part of. Five, 10, 50? <laughs> What's your role on each of those teams? Did your home team make the list? Because sometimes as school leaders, we forget about that. And that's right, I have one that's the quarterback and one that's built to protect the quarterback, right? And they're self-sufficient humans because we're school leaders. And sometimes, yo-yos for dinner. You're on your own. Feel free to use that one. You also need to know your organization and the part of the organization that fulfills you as a leader and that connects you to the organization. Do you know your school's mission statement? Is it prevalent in your school? Do people live it out or does it hang on the wall and maybe just on your website? I can remember walking in my classroom at Normal West 19 years ago and seeing this hang on the wall and I've never left. This is our mission statement, where everyone succeeds together. And it spells West, good, okay, good. It's hard for our students, but they've got it now. Okay, and so it's everyone succeeds, not just some and how, together. Okay, something that you say a lot at your school, like a motto, right? Something school appropriate and not tier one is hard, but something like, it's a great day to be a wildcat, rah, 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 rah. This is our motto, okay? Each year we have a theme. Our theme this year is wildcat energy. What we are focusing on is what we can control in the situation and what energy we bring to that situation. One organization I think we need to give a shout out to is the Illinois Principals Association, which is, yes, go ahead. You only have two seconds though to clap. But I've always been a part of organizations and I think that's valuable as a professional. And one thing Jason talked about is this school leader paradigm. I like the part about learning, culture, and systems because it aligns to knowing yourself, knowing others, and knowing your organization, right? And so the learning part, we're always learning. That's why we're here. Culture is knowing others, know what you expect from your teams, and then knowing systems 
and your organization and your impact. So I ask you this today, one word, what's your leadership for? And on the count of three, we're gonna shout it out together. So what's your leadership for? One, two, three. Oh, okay, put your hands up like this. We're gonna make a W. We're gonna make a W and you're gonna say weak. <laughs> weak. That was weak. Okay. What's your leadership for? One, two, three. That was better. It was better. Okay. Thank you.